Hey guys, how's it going? Thad here with Iowa Budget RC. And I've got the Harbor Freight W12 uh, boat here, which is the same as the WL Toys WL12. And uh, so I had bought an adapter off of Amazon to go from the Mini Tamiya plug to uh, a Dean's so I could run uh, 2S LiPo in this thing versus the, uh, uh, nic not the nickel metal hydride, but uh, the uh, lithium ion battery that these things come with and a uh, stupid thing was wired backwards so a uh, little word of advice always check and double check your uh, adapters when you buy them make sure they're wired correctly or make your own which i typically do i typically have a set of dean's plugs laying around but i didn't have any mini tamaya plugs so i uh used an adapter off of Amazon and you never know what you're gonna get but I have this Enjora system here that uh, I got from uh, it's actually Ostar Hobby but it's sold by Enjora and uh, it has a receiver uh, ESC combo that is waterproof and so I'm going to pull this thing apart and replace the uh, receiver ESC combo that's in there with that. Hopefully everything will work and uh, um, we can, uh, you know, be back to boating. Uh, I was really hoping to enjoy this more on vacation and do a 2S run and never got a chance to because of that. So. Uh, in order to pull this thing apart, uh, we got to take the top off and uh, the there are I think uh, da, 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 yeah six one two three four five six seven screws that hold this top half on so I will take those out and then uh, the receiver combo is up underneath of there. So I will uh, bring you back when I've got those screws out. All right, turns out you don't have to take the top off. You can see when that battery got hooked up backwards, it fried the uh, circuit board on the little ESC that's on here. I think these are called MOSFETs or something like that. But uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, got to uh, get all this stuff out of there and uh, then we will hook up the uh, the new stuff I'm going to uh, open that up now or after I get this out and I will show you what it comes in here's a little box and man this white silicone stuff that they used holy smokes was that sealed in there I'm gonna use some red high temp silicone because that's all I have but uh, man was that stuff sealed in there all right, so in the box, you get your Enjora stickers. You get the manual and you get your ESC slash receiver uh, combo with a switch. Now this had the uh, uh, little sensor in there. This will eliminate that sensor, uh, which kind of sucks because uh, I think that takes away the self writing uh, I could, I guess, uh, cut the wires or solder that into these wires for the on and off switch, uh, which I may do. Um, but other than that, it's a pretty straightforward uh, setup, and uh, we will uh, get it all hooked up, and I will bring you back. Well, I hate to say this, but this ain't going to work because... Uh, this has uh, like the JST plugs. I don't have any adapters to go from like the motor to uh, JST or uh, any of that. Um, so it does have uh, one little port that would work for the uh, uh, self writing deal, I think. But um, yeah, so. Uh, I'm gonna try and figure out a plan B here when it comes to this. All right, so I've got it to work. Uh, gonna use this uh, 1060 Hobby Wing and uh, um, the uh, this Ghoul RC uh, radio and receiver. 
um, was going to use a different radio and receiver, and apparently that radio and receiver are something's messed up. I can't get them to pair. But uh, basically, I'm bypassing the uh, little switch uh, for the uh, the self writing. Um, it will still self write, but uh, it's going to have power all the time, uh, not just when it's in the water. So. Uh, we're gonna have to be aware of that but uh, that's okay so uh, as soon as my soldering iron heats up I'm gonna heat these up and uh, uh, get them heat shrunk and uh, get everything put back in there and uh, uh, probably going to I'll leave the speed control out and put the uh, receiver in the uh, the box because I don't think the receiver is actually uh, waterproof so Anyway, we'll uh, figure that out when the time comes. All right, guys, got everything in place. Got the uh, receiver up in the uh, receiver box. Uh, not worried about the ESC because it's waterproof. So I'm gonna turn the control on. Turn that on, you hear it beep. reverse and we're on lipo so uh, I'm using uh, one of the 1800 milliamp batteries that uh, came with the uh, uh, our Larlo so anyway next time you see this thing we'll be on the water and we'll be ripping it again all right guys we're here at uh, Middle Park Lagoon in Bettendorf and uh, we're gonna take the uh, Harbor Freight WL12 WL Toys boat out and uh, see what she can do now that we have uh, have power again. So check this out. Much faster with a 2S LiPo, I can tell you that. Yes. I bet you can see that on camera too. And That's with having this radio, much. it's got a much better range too. You should bring it here real quick and we should put it in the water upside down to see. No, I don't want to do that. All right, now Grayson's at the helm. It's a lot more powerful. Remember, if you dump it and it doesn't self right, you get to go swim to get it. There's no swimming around. I just hit a dead fish. Yeah, there's a few dead fish in here. I know. All right, guys. Well, I'm glad we got this fixed. It didn't cost me anything because I already had the stuff. And uh, everything works as it should. So thanks for watching. I'm Thad with Iowa Budget RC. Have a great day.